Jaffa cakes, my friends. Today we're making this little goodies from scratch, and if you haven't had a chance to try or make them yet, watch it. To start off, brown the butter. Let it melt in a pan on medium heat and leave on low to sizzle, foam, and eventually brown. It will take about 10 minutes. In the meantime, take the icing sugar and the flour through the sieve and add the orange zest. Turn on the kettle and squeeze the juice out of the orange to add to the jelly later on. Check the butter and reuse the heat if it has started changing the color. In a measuring jar, combine a store-bought orange jelly powder with about 200 ml boiling water, then add the orange juice and fill the jar with boiling water to reach 300 ml. Stir well to ensure the gelatin is completely dissolved before letting it set. Check the butter again and it's time to turn off the heat. Let it sit there to cool to the room temperature. And back to the jelly. Pour it into the 25-18 cm baking pan lined with wrapping film. This amount of jelly in this size of a pan will make about 3 mm high layer of jelly. Perfect for these cakes. Let it cool and set on the even flat surface. And to let it set faster, you can send the tray to the freezer for 5-7 minutes, provided that it has reached room temperature first. Now now the batter. Add almond flour to the bowl with the icing sugar, flour and orange zest. Then whisk the egg whites with a pinch of salt in a separate bowl until forming light foam and combine with the dry ingredients. Set a couple of tablespoons of the brown butter aside for greasing the pan and pour the rest into the batter. The brown flakes you see are the milk solids that have been toasted when brown in the butter. Nothing is wrong here. Flakes are large when the buttermilk content in the brown butter is high and small when the butter has higher fat content. Whisk the batter until this kind of consistency. Grease the cupcake pan and add the batter so that it covers the bottom for 5 mm. For the 7 cm cupcake pan, it takes 1 full tablespoon of batter per cup. Shake the cupcake pan once filled to distribute the batter evenly and send to a preheated oven for 10 minutes. When baked, take out the sponge cakes and let them cool. Repeat the cycle to bake the rest of the cakes. With my cupcake pan, this amount of batter makes about 26-28 Jaffa cakes. Carefully take out the set jelly out of the pan, helping yourself with the wrapping film edges, and place it on the cutting board. Using a round cookie cutter, make rounds a bit smaller than the size of your cakes. With a knife or a small spatula, place a jelly round on top of the cake so that it sits in the center and repeat for the rest of the cakes. Then cover each cake with a layer of melted dark chocolate. For the fastest and easiest chocolate melting technique, check the shorts playlist on our channel or the link in description where you are also going to find the list of ingredients and measurements. Here we go! Make a cup of tea and enjoy the moment. Subscribe to Fabits for more. Thanks for watching and stay well, folks.